Times Chicago to continue promoting Playboy. Hello. Hello, Chicago. We arrived in Chicago at night, and I was amazed at how clean and nice it was. It was a real surprise. Thank you. Oh my God, when Kendra and I walked into the hotel room in Chicago, we were like, whoa. Let's jump on the bed! Woo! <laughs> the hotel was so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Welcome to my, to my hometown. <laughs> yeah, Yay. it's cool. We like feel, it better already. Do yes. you feel all happy? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that bathtub can fit all four of us. <laughs> all four of us can fit in that bathtub, honey. Okay. <laughs> That's a deal. <laughs>
the master bedroom and moved into the my room. Oh, this, this is, is your my room? Bedroom. Aww. Right. Did you have any hot girls that lived next door so you could like see them? Not them here. Them? No, it was the Larsons. They were friends of the family. They had no children. Well, we better get in the car and get going. We better move. The old home. Many wonderful memories here. Hi. I hope this is as wonderful a neighborhood now as it was when we were kids. Still is. Thank you very much. Mr. Hefner rarely leaves this place, but when he does, you would think, well, we lay by the pool, we have our pina coladas. Not necessarily so. It's the busiest for the maintenance crew that it ever is. When he's gone, we have all these projects that we work pretty much day and night on. Mr. Hefner wanted to get rid of the carpet and refinish the stairs and to put tile down in the kitchen. What we did is we had to take all the equipment out of the kitchen, so outside they have a makeshift kitchen. It's amazing. Mr. Hefner loves this house, and he loves the way this house looks. So when he comes back, it will look newer and fresher, but it will still be the same look. It was exciting to go to the Playboy headquarters in Chicago. Hi. Christy, Hef's daughter, is the big boss in Chicago, and she's wonderful. She showed us all around and introduced us to everyone. <laughs> now, Ken, have you been to these offices before? No. Oh, all right. Very cool. Uh, um, nice picture. All right, little, little welcome. <laughs> I gave up the ruffles somewhere along the way. <laughs> Since Hef hardly ever goes to Chicago, most of the people who work in the Chicago office have never even seen him, so they were excited that he was coming in for a tour. How are you? Everybody's very happy to be back to very visit. Well, very well. Hello there. Yeah. Good to see you. You can totally tell that's his home. He's the president of Chicago. <laughs> the don't, new one. Yeah. Well, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, we yeah. have the sheet music from Boy Named Sue uh -huh. and some yeah. other I stuff. I think so. I think so. Yeah. We're doing a thing on Shell, that's and it's really nice. I think the whole idea of you uh, in a nudist camp doing a cartoon thing is wild. Uh, Me and the nudist camp. Just you and the nude is pretty wild, right? <laughs> At the nude is <laughs> okay. We go around this way, work right. the studio. They got something cool going on in the studio. Hi, hi, how you doing? Hi, it's good hi. to see you. Hi. They want to take their clothes off and shoot oh, in the studio. I didn't shave today. <laughs> it's just part of our regular gray line tour. Uh, yes. <laughs> Hello, dear. How are you? Monica is an upcoming playmate. She just happened to be shooting a Cyber Girl pictorial in Chicago. It really is a working day. <laughs> How's it going? Good. 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 You probably didn't know the tour was coming through here. I think Monica was a little bit shy that we all showed up while she was topless doing a photo shoot. But for me, it's nothing. I just thought she looked great. <laughs> At least it's just it's us. Nice, right? yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> I know. It's just oh. us and 20 of our friends. I think it was so funny going in and looking at Monica naked. <laughs> Bye, Monica. Bye. See ya. I'll Have see fun. you guys. I'll see you guys soon. See you soon. See ya. <laughs> Our romantic. Chicago still got it. Chicago okay, theater. here's the Chicago Yay. Theater. We saw Frank Sinatra here. I dated a girl that worked in the hotel here. The showgirl. Shirley Delancey. Uh -huh. Is that Wrigley's Field? I think it may be. Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah it says Soldier Field. Yeah. Wow. Soldier Field. I'm jealous. San Diego Stadium sucks. The first night, we went to dinner with Hef and Keith to a restaurant called Japanese. Japanese was so cool. I had no idea what to expect. We walked in and they had these beautiful bouquets for us. It was so neat. This is sounds like the coolest. The rock. It comes out um, thinly sliced, marinated New York strip steak, and then there's a hot rock in the middle, and you cook it on the rock. That sounds cool. Four thirty. Tomorrow morning, you're doing the sports. Yes. Yes. I can't wait. We had to get up. So early to go to a talk radio show. I'm going to be reporting the entertainment news. It's totally up my alley, and I better get a copy for my demo reel. <laughs> They're doing a, a uh, radio thing. They're like reading the news. So I'm going to talk about the loss of San Diego. I think they have a script for us. Oh, I have so much to talk about. I don't even need a script. The blue plate special. We got this appetizer thing with the beef on a, and you cook it on this hot rock thing, and that was so cool. I love neat, fun stuff like that. Oh, that looks fun. Look at that. I know how to use these things. Yeah, that was so cool. What is it? Awesome. I can't 
can't wait. This is the best thing that could ever happen to me right now. It's like a little game, isn't it, honey? Yeah, it's fun. You're having a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's really it's fun. The beginning cooking. <laughs> Thank you. Mine's burnt. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I love to burn. She likes it that way. There were girls across the table from us. Hef said they were straight out of sex in the city. I think he got that impression because it was like four women kind of sitting there over cocktails. I see the girls over there dump the guys. It reminds me of sex in the city. <laughs> Hef wanted to invite them to the mansion because they were like trying to get Hef's attention and Keith's attention. So he thought he'd go over there. Come on over to you. <laughs> Well, the smart move is I sort of I noticed you got rid of the guys. Absolutely. <laughs> now we're like daddies in town. Daddies in town. I'll bring the city, you bring the sex. I don't get, that's my job. I don't get jealous of other girls because I was raised in a cloning lab to be the perfect woman for Hugh M. Hefner. So other than the fact that my IQ is probably a little higher than he would like, I have nothing to worry about. Very good. Rinse off real quick. Yeah. Two seconds. I'll take two seconds. Mm -hmm. We have time for Man Cow, right? We don't want it to be done until a before eight. Man Cow is a really popular talk radio show out of Chicago, and I believe it's syndicated around the nation. And we were told that we were going to be interviewed and reading the news on his radio show, so that was going to be a fun experience. All right, Man Cow's Morning Madhouse. Today we have Kendra, Holly, and Bridget, Hefner's girlfriends from the hit show, The Girl Next Door. And let's bring him in right now. Hi, there's Holly. Bridget. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kendra. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. I've had very uh, naughty thoughts about all of you. Oh, really? Like what? Yeah. I'm kidding. Like what? Well, <laughs> let's, tur let's turn off the, uh, the mics here. Okay, so how do the neighbors feel about all those animals at the mansion? Uh, they don't mind. Uh, we actually have a country club right next to us, so there's not a lot of complaints. Have any of the animals ever attack you? I'm scared of the Spot. birds. Of the what? <laughs> the, bit of the birds, like the cranes. Yeah. One animal attacked me once. Hef. But I'm fine. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna set you up to take over the show. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> we should do Holly and then yeah. Bridget and then Kendra. All okay. right. Okay, Holly, go ahead. Okay, this is world news. The Labor Department says another 75,000 people filed unemployment claims last week because of the Gulf Coast hurricanes. New York and New England face rain and flood warnings. Mm. Watch out, New Yorkers. Hey, My name is Holly Madison, and that is world news. On oh, Man Cow's Morning. <laughs> morning. Nice. Carrie so, Ann, Carrie Ann, nice. nice. you're fired. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Now, did we give Bridget, how much did we give her? I know she's actually a pro at this, but. I am not a pro. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ready for me? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. First of all, there was a Vonifer sighting. Vonifer, I love it. <laughs> Did you make that up? No. Oh my God, that's so good. They now let's have new. a pillow fight. <laughs> yes. Okay, sorry. Okay. For people insisting they are not a couple, Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn sure looked pretty cozy after Vaughn's Wild West comedy show. The duo held hands, whispered lovingly into each other's ears, and were spied dancing close, even when not on the dance floor. Ooh. Vince Vaughn and uh, Jennifer Aniston making out. Now, if half caught any of us making out here, would it be over? Oh, yeah. yeah. For you. But the, how can he, you. Yeah. How, but how can he expect you girls to resist? Seriously. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. <laughs> I got to do my sign-off. It is a uh, good job. Yeah, do your sign-off. Okay, this is Bridget Marquardt with the Entertainment News on Man Cow Morning Show. Woo! Yeah! 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 There you go. All right. It is the top of the hour. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. We're coming to you. Here we go. You ready? I'm nervous. No, don't be nervous. <laughs> Wednesday night in Chicago, John Creed doubled the the winning run at the bottom of the ninth, and Mark Burley threw the five, <laughs> five hitter as the White Sox beat the Los Angeles two to one. Oh God! See, I suck. No, no, no. I kind of messed up on my sports thing, and I said, I suck. I suck at this. No, and no. I, but then you know, I I didn't give up. I never give up, and I just took a deep breath and I went on with the announcement, and I did a lot better. It's cool. You're on live, lady. Go. There okay. is another investigation <laughs> regarding an alleged Minnesota Vikings sex cruise involving as many as 17 Vikings players. Wow. Whatever floats your boat, right? That's right. right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah.
Shanksters, whatever. There you go. That's 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 and that's man cows in your face sports. Kiss my blonde ass if you don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah. Man cow was awesome. I love man cow. I want to be on that show again. I loved it. <laughs> He's so cool. You ready? Let's go get the dogs, Arch. Come on, Duke. You ready to go outside? We have to make sure the dogs are taken care of. Uh, Holly left us strict instructions. I hope the staff really keeps their eye on our dogs, because if anything happened to any one of my dogs... Duchess, you want to come outside? Come on. Duchess is a very difficult subject. We try to get her to go outside with the rest of the other dogs, and she won't do it. Let's go get your brothers and sisters. Come on. Excited. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Of course you want to play. Ready? Arlo. Come on, guys. Let's go eat. Duke, Duchess, Arlo, and uh, Martini and Rascal. And then you two will be last because you're right here. You ready, Panda? No Martini. No? Okay, Panda, you come here. Now I gotta go find Rascal. Enjoy your meal. Okay, now, going past Michigan Avenue. I have looked really happy to be back in Chicago, and he just looked like a little boy who's so excited to be back. There yeah. used to be a bank on the corner right mm -hmm. here where I borrowed the money. Wow. $400. Oh, Dodd that's Drake. cute. And this, um, dragon. And this is... Uh, Louis Vuitton. The Playboy building. <laughs> this is the... Oh, yeah. This is, oh, this cool. is the Playboy building right here. That's yeah. really cool. Let's see if the sign is still up here. We wanted to go see the honorary Hugh M. Hefner Street sign. No, I think it's gone. Oh. It was right here, I think. The sign is very popular and people steal it. Oh, they the steal it. Oh. oh, that's why it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> that's the Hugh Hefner Way sign, said, but somebody stole it. Oh. No way. It's so funny. Yeah, you, you have no way. I want to steal is, the one in Vegas. There's no way. Because <laughs> it's gone. The Playboy Club was in a building that had been a, an unsuccessful restaurant under four different owners before that. And then when it became the Playboy Club, it was just the most popular place in the city. This is probably Rush. Yeah, it's Rush. Uh huh. Okay. And it's going to join with State. It's so cute. Yeah. Yes. This is the part of the city that I just was so romantic and glamorous for me. My favorite place to go was the mansion. And here it is. Aww, the mansion in Chicago is the original Playboy Mansion, and that's where it all started. It was built in 1905. The living room is magnificent. It's the size of a, a hotel ballroom. Yeah. There's the red room, then the blue room. Uh -huh. uh, and, and this was my office. Where is the pool? Right in there. Uh -huh. The game room was right there. Uh -huh. And right behind the game room was the swimming pool. Wow. And then behind that was the stairway and the fire pole, and you go down to the underwater bar. Wow. It's a really pretty building. It is a pretty building. What was up on the top up there in those windows? Well, well as a matter of fact, up on the, you know, the top floor uh, was uh, partly with bunny dormitories. Oh, cool. uh, 25 to 30 bunnies living in bunny dormitories. And on the roof, I built a sun deck, Ooh. and they would sun up there and the joke was that the ambassador hotel was charging more for the rooms on this side uh, than on the other funny. Because, because they, <laughs> and my associate publisher uh, AC Spektorsky lives in one of the apartments right across the way and, and he's the guy that gave me the plaque that said in uh, Latin if you don't swing don't swing it was just such a beautiful building. I've seen pictures of it before, but I didn't see it landscaped the way it was. And I didn't notice all the moldings on the building and just how beautiful that building was. And we saw a bunny rabbit in the yard. Honey, there's a rabbit in the yard. Look at it. We left a few bunnies. Oh my God, it's a cute It's a little rabbit. cutie bunny too. Hi, bunny. It's a sign. It's a sign we need to buy it back. I'll buy it, condo by condo. Watch yourselves, people. travel with Hef and we're in a new city, the clubs in those cities want Hef to come and party really bad. Very well. When we were at Japanese, 
there was a group of girls. I'll bring the city, you bring the sex. <laughs> and then the next night we were at Y Bar, and they were there too. A oh, Strange. I don't know how they knew we were going to be there. <laughs> well, I had a little too much fun. <laughs> I like Chicago. I love Chicago. Yeah. I'd I love pick it. New York over Chicago, but and I'd rather buy property in deal. Chicago. Well, they certainly made us feel welcome. Yeah, yeah. they did with yeah. bouquets of flowers. Level. I almost want to stay up on the plane just so I get extra sleep time at home with the puppies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's having too much fun with that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The trip to Chicago was one I'd wanted to take for a really long time to get to see where Hef grew up. And it was just a great experience to be able to share that with him. It's so nice to go traveling, but also oh, nice to be home. Yeah. It's puppy time! Oh my god. to come to Chicago with Hef because he hasn't been there in a long time. Hef grew up in Chicago. It's where he went to school. It's the whole first half of his life. I think Hef's dreams were born in Chicago. It's where he first started Playboy. It's where he had the original Playboy Mansion. It's where the first Playboy Club was. So I was really interested to see all the sites I'd heard so much about. <laughs> In the morning, we went and saw Hef's old house and his old school. Wow, look at that pretty tree. Yeah. That's a pr well, that's that, pretty. Isn't that lovely? Yes. Keith is Hef's brother. It was just fun to have another person to share the stories and point things out. And what, what's this street? Palmer, Palmer. <gasps> that, look at that wooden house. 2138. I love wooden houses. We've gone past. This is Armitage. Yeah, now we're back to Armitage, right? Yes, yeah, so all right. Oh, Hef definitely calls Chicago home. And he's like, so this is the street? That's this? Like, it's so cool hearing him know all the streets in Chicago. Let's go by the school this way. And then we'll walk from the school. Here we are. This is our grade school. It's huge for a grade school. Oh, yes. OK. Get down. Yeah. I wanted to see all the places where he grew up and all the places he's always talking about. Nice day for a walk. Oh, cute! Ah. They welcome back to you. You want to take a picture in front of the welcome back? Yeah. Maybe they got our little picture. It makes me want to cry. Another kid. Hi, kids. Aww. I teach upper grade here. Oh. And uh, we were always talking about you. So this was our grade school and uh, I saw junior high school. I saw pictures of you. Uh, there were some people up there last year that were in your third grade class. And it was amazing. I saw the pictures. I said, is that Mr. Hesner? They said, yes. He was a quiet chap. That's good. OK, we're going on. We're walking. We're walking. They didn't have stop signs here when we were kids. Oh, really? No. These houses are so freaking cute. It was a cute neighborhood. And the house here on the corner was the Seawards. And this is our alley, and it used to be dirt. Dirt? Uh -oh. Yep. Yeah. Aww. And carts would go by, the rags, old iron. Rags and old iron. Oh my god, it was 
so nice seeing Hef get back to his roots. Oh my God, I, it almost made me want to cry. Like going through the work Hugh Hefner walked through like in the beginning of his lifetime was just so amazing to me, you know? Like walking in his footsteps. Home sweet home, yeah. Home sweet home. Return of the dead. There it is. Yeah, we're walking down memory lane. We certainly are. It was Hef's house city home. And he's like, so this is the street? That's this? Like, it's so cool hearing him know all the streets in Chicago. Let's go by the school this way. And then we'll walk from the school. Here we are. This is our grade school. It's huge for a grade school. Oh, yes. OK. Get down. Yeah. I wanted to see all the places where he grew up and all the places he's always talking about. Nice day for a walk. Oh, cute. Oh. Welcome back to you. You want to take a picture in front of the welcome oh. back? Yeah. Maybe they got our little picture. Just makes me want to cry. Kids. All right, kids. Aww. I teach up a grade here. Oh. And uh, we were always talking about you. So this was our grade school and uh, I saw junior high school. Of you, uh, there were some people up there last year that were in your third grade class. And it was amazing. I saw the pictures. I said, is that Mr. Hesner? They said, yes. He was a quiet chap. <laughs> okay, we're going on. We're walking. We're walking. They didn't have stop signs here when we were kids. Oh, really? are so freaking cute. It was a cute neighborhood. And the house here on the corner was the Seawards. And this is our alley, and it used to be dirt. Dirt? Uh -oh. Yep, yeah. Aww. And carts would go by, the rags, old rags iron. Rags and old rags. iron. Oh my god, it was so nice seeing Hef get back to his roots. Oh my god, I, it almost made me want to cry. Like, going through the work Hugh Hefner walked through, like, in the beginning of his lifetime, was just so amazing to me, you know? Like, walking in his footsteps. At home sweet home, yeah. Aww. Oh, oh. Return of the dead. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. yeah, we're walking down memory lane. We certainly are. It was Hef's house that he grew up in. His mom sold to somebody who's no longer living there, so we were able to walk through and see all the rooms. Oh, it's a lot more. smaller. Aww. Oh, it's shrunk even more. Wow. Even, sm even smaller than oh, I remember. Mine too, me too. Wow. The radio was here in the corner. The sofa was here. And we should, that was my room. Oh, that was lay on the rug. This was mine. So it's so tiny. I know, it's really <laughs> tiny. It's like the size of a large closet. Wow. And the tiny little bathroom. It is so <laughs> tiny. I like the so tiles. Wow. Though. That tile is still the same tile. Oh, yes. This is the dining room. Here's the kitchen. Where we used to eat. There was a t kitchen table here. We used to eat this dinner. This is where here. we'd eat this dinner. This was mom and dad's room. Oh. And also the room where Millie and I lived when we were first married. And the folks gave up the master bedroom and moved into the, my room. Oh, this, this is, is my room? bedroom. Aww. Right. Did you have any hot girls that live next door so you could like see them? Not okay. here, no, it was the Larsons. They were friends of the family, they had no children. Well, we better get in the car and get going. We better move. The old home. Many wonderful memories here. Hi. Going in and looking at Monica naked. <laughs> Bye, Monica. Bye. See ya. I'll see you guys soon. See you soon. See ya. How romantic. Chicago still got it. Chicago okay, theater. here's the Chicago Yay. Theater. We saw Frank Sinatra here. I dated a girl who worked in the hotel here. The showgirl. Shirley Delancey. That was at Wrigley's Field? I think it may be. Oh, shit! It yeah, it says Soldier Field. Yeah. Wow. Soldier Field. I'm jealous. San Diego Stadium sucks. The first night, we went to dinner with Hef and Keith to a restaurant called Japanese. Japanese was so cool. I had no idea what to expect. We walked in, and they had these beautiful bouquets for us. It was so neat. This is sounds the coolest. The Rock. It comes out um, thinly sliced, marinated New York strip steak. And then there's a hot rock in the middle, and you cook it on the rock. That sounds cool. More 30. Tomorrow morning, you're doing the sports? Yes. Yes. I can't wait. We had to get up so early to go to a talk radio show. I'm going to be reporting the entertainment news. It's totally up my alley, and I better get a copy for my demo reel. <laughs> They're doing a, a uh, radio thing. They're like reading the news. So I'm going to talk about the loss of San Diego. I think they have a script for us. Oh, I have so much to talk about. I don't even need a script. 
the blue plate special. We got this appetizer thing with the beef on a, and you cook it on this hot rock thing, and that was so cool. I love neat, fun stuff like that. Oh, that looks fun. Look at that. I know how to use these things. Yeah, that was so cool. What is it? Awesome. I can't wait. This is the best thing that could ever happen to me right now. It's like a little game, isn't it, honey? Yeah, it's fun. You're having a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's really it's fun. The beginning cooking. <laughs> Thank you. Mine's burnt. Here, I said I had a Oh, no, 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 no. No, I love to burn. She likes it that way. There were girls across the table from us. Hef said they were straight out of sex in the city. I think he got that impression because it was like four women kind of sitting there over cocktails. I see the girls over there dump the guys. It reminds me of Sex in the City. <laughs> Hef wanted to invite them to the mansion because they were like trying to get Hef's attention and Keith's attention, so he thought he'd go over there. Come on over to you. <laughs> Hi. Well, the smart move is I, showed, I noticed you got rid of the guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Now, we're like daddies in town. Daddies in town. <laughs> I'll bring the city, you bring the sex. I don't get, that's my job. I don't get jealous of other girls because I was good. Good, good. It's good. good. It's it's really, really, really good. good. You probably didn't know the tour was coming through it's, here. I think Monica was a little bit shy that we all showed up while she was topless doing a photo shoot. But for me, it's nothing. I just thought she looked great. <laughs> It's just it's us. Nice, right? That's right. I know. It's just oh. us and 20 of our friends. I think it was so funny going in and looking at Monica naked. <laughs> Bye, Monica. Bye. See ya. Have I'll fun. see you guys. I'll see you guys soon. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm romantic. Chicago still got it. Chicago okay, Theater. here's the Chicago Yay. Theater. We saw Frank Sinatra here. I dated a girl that worked in the hotel here. The showgirl. Shirley Delancey. Uh -huh. That was at Wrigley's Field? I think it may be. Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah it says Soldier Field. Yeah. Wow. Soldier Field. I'm jealous. San Diego Stadium sucks. The first night, we went to dinner with Hef and Keith to a restaurant called Japanese. Japanese was so cool. I had no idea what to expect. We walked in and they had these beautiful bouquets for us. It was so neat. This is, sounds the coolest. The rock. It comes out um, thinly sliced, marinated New York strip steak. And then there's a hot rock in the middle and you cook it on the rock. That sounds cool. 4.30. Tomorrow morning you're doing the sports? Yes. Yes. I can't wait. We had to get up so early to go to a talk radio show. I'm going to be reporting the entertainment news. It's totally up my alley, and I better get a copy for my demo reel. <laughs> and they're doing a, a uh, radio thing. They're like reading the news. So I'm going to talk about the loss of San Diego. I think they have a script for us. Oh, I have so much to talk about. I don't even need a script. The blue plate special. We got this appetizer thing with the beef on a, and you cook it on this hot rock thing, and that was so cool. I love neat, fun stuff like that. Oh, that looks fun. Look at that. I know how to use these things. Yeah, that was so cool. What is it? Awesome. I can't wait. This is the best thing that could ever happen to me right now. It's like a little game, isn't it, honey? Yeah, it's fun. You're having a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's really it's, fun. The beginning cooking. <laughs> Thank you. Mine's burnt. Here, I said I had oh, no, 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 I love to burn. She likes it that way. <laughs> there were girls across the table from us. Hef said they were straight out of sex in the city. I think he got that impression because it was like four women kind of sitting there over cocktails. I see the girls over there dump the guys. It reminds me of sex in the city. <laughs> Hef wanted to invite them to the mansion because they were like trying to get Hef's attention and Keith's attention. You're beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. I've had very uh, naughty thoughts about all of you. Oh really? Like what? Yeah. I'm like what? Well, <laughs> let's, tur let's turn off the uh, the mics here. Okay. So how do the neighbors feel about all those animals at the mansion? Uh, they don't mind. Uh, we actually have a country club right next to us, so there's not a lot of complaints. Have any of the animals ever attack you? I'm scared of the Spot. birds. Of the what? <laughs> the, bit of the birds, like the cranes. Yeah. One animal attacked me once. Hef. <laughs> <laughs>
But I'm fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna set you up to take over the show. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> we should do Holly and then yeah. Bridget and then Kendra. All okay. right. Okay, Holly, go ahead. Okay, this is world news. The Labor Department says another 75,000 people filed unemployment claims last week because of the Gulf Coast hurricanes. New York and New England face rain and flood warnings. Mm. Watch out, New Yorkers. Hey, My name is Holly Madison, and that is world news. Oh, a man cow's morning. <laughs> a man cow's morning. Nice. Morning. So, so Carrie Ann. Nice. Carrie Ann, you're fired. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Now, did we give Bridget? How much did we give her? I know she's actually a pro at this, but I am not a pro. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ready for me? Yeah, let's go. Okay. First of all, there was a Vonifer sighting. Vonifer, I love that. <laughs> did you make that up? No. Oh my God, that's so good. They now let's have new. a pillow fight. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. For people insisting they are not a couple, Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn sure looked pretty cozy after Vaughn's Wild West comedy show. The duo held hands, whispered lovingly into each other's ears, and were spied dancing close, even when not on the dance floor. Ooh. Vince Vaughn and uh, Jennifer Aniston making out. Now, if half caught any of us making out here, would it be over? Oh, yeah. yeah. For you. But the, how can he, you. Yeah. How, but how can he expect you girls to resist? Seriously. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. <laughs> I got to do my sign off. It is a uh, good job. Yeah, do your sign off. Okay, this was Bridget Marquardt with the Entertainment News on Man Cow Morning Show. Woo! Yeah! 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 There you go. All right. It is the top of the hour. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. We're coming to you. Here we go. You ready? I'm nervous. No, don't be nervous. <laughs> Wednesday night in Chicago, John Creed doubled the, the winning run at the bottom of the ninth, and Mark. Burley threw the five, <laughs> five hitter as the White Sox beat the Los Angeles two to one. Oh God! See, I suck. No, no, no. I kind of messed up on my sports thing, and I said, "I suck. I suck at this." No, no. Right. But then, you know, I I didn't give up. I never give up, and I just took a deep breath and I went on with the announcement, and I did a lot better. It was cool. Good luck, lady. Go. There okay. is another investigation <laughs> regarding an alleged Minnesota Vikings sex cruise involving as many as 17 Vikings players. Wow. Whatever floats your boat, That's right? right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Like sex cruise, whatever floats your boat. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>